History of the Earth is 4.5 billion years. This history is divided into four eons. Hadean, Archean, Proterozoic, and Phanerozoic. These four eons are further subdivided into ten eras. Eoarchean, Paleoarchean, Mesoarchean, Neoarchean, Paleoproterozoic, Mesoproterozoic, Neoproterozoic, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic. Each era is divided into periods. Hadean. Hodean is a geologic eon that represents the earliest period in Earth's history, extending from about 4.5 billion years ago to around 4 billion years ago. The eon's name Hadean comes from Hades, the Greek god of the underworld. The Hadean eon is characterized by intense heat and the atmosphere is mostly CO2. During this period was formation of protolith of the oldest known rock and also formation of moon probably from a giant impact. Iarchean. Iarchean is a division of the Archean Eon and represents a specific geological era that occurred approximately 4 to 3.6 billion years ago. During the Iarchean Earth was still in the early stages of its formation, at first protocells with RNA-based genes, after which true cells evolve along with proteins and DNA-based genes, around 3.8 billion years ago. Paleoarchean. Paleoarchean is a subdivision of the Archean Eon representing a geological era that occurred approximately 3.6 to 3.2 billion years ago. During this period, one of Earth's earliest supercontinents may have formed, prokaryotic archaea and bacteria, began diversify rapidly, along with early viruses. Mesoarchean. Mesoarchean is a geological era that falls within the broader Archean Eon, and occurred approximately 3.2 to 2.8 billion years ago which contains the first evidence of modern-style plate subduction and expansion of microbial life, an oceanic temperature over 40 degrees Celsius. Also, there is no oxygen in the atmosphere yet. Neoarchean. Neoarchean is a geological era that falls within the Archean Eon, and spans approximately 2.8 to 2.5 billion years ago. During this period, because we finally have proper plate tectonics, more chemicals are mixed in from inside the Earth, and prokaryotes-like bacteria began colonizing the planet. Siderian. Siderian is the earliest geologic period of the Paleoproterozoic era, spanning from approximately 2.5 to 2.3 billion years ago. During this period, great oxidation event due to cyanobacteria, which led to an increase in oxygen in the atmosphere and began to react with methane forming carbon dioxide and water, which led to the planet cooling rapidly and causing it to freeze. Riacian. Riacian is a geologic period within the Paleoproterozoic era, spanning approximately from 2.3 to 2.05 billion years ago. This period, lots of volcanoes heat up Earth, and Earth unfreezes slowly again. Orosirian. Orosirian is a geologic period within the Paleoproterozoic era, spanning approximately from 2.05 to 1.8 billion years ago. During this period, a large asteroid collision created the Vredefort impact structure. The event that created the Sudbury Basin structure occurred near the end of the period 185 billion years ago. Stathirian. Stathirian is a geologic period within the Paleoproterozoic era, spanning approximately from 1.8 to 1.6 billion years ago. By the beginning of the Stathirian, the supercontinent Columbia had assembled approximately 1.7 billion years ago. A series of natural nuclear fission reactors was operational in what is now Oklo Gabon. Kalimian. Kalimian is a geologic period within the Paleoproterozoic era, spanning approximately from 1.6 to 1.4 billion years ago. During this period, the first eukaryotes with plastids from cyanobacteria like red and green algae. Ectasian. Ectasian is the second geologic period in the Mesoproterozoic era, and lasted from 1.4 to 1.2 billion years ago. In the early of this period, a day was 17 hours and 32 minutes. At the end of this period, it was 18 hours and 28 minutes. This period is interesting for the first evidence of sexual reproduction. Stinian. Stinian is a geologic period within the Paleoproterozoic era, spanning approximately from 1.2 to 1 billion years ago. This period includes the formation of the Kiwinawan Rift at about 1.1 billion years ago, and fossils of the oldest known sexually reproducing organism, Bongiomorpha pubescens, first appeared in the Stinian. Tonian. Tonian is a geologic period within the Neoproterozoic era, spanning approximately from 1 billion to 720 million years ago. During this period, the supercontinent Rodinia begins to break up. Also, we have evidence of green algae, macroalgae, and fungi. Cryogenian. Cryogenian is a geologic period within the Neoproterozoic era, spanning approximately from 720 million to 635 million years ago. After the previous boring billion years of stability, 
at the beginning of Cryogenian, the severe Sturtian glaciation began, freezing the entire Earth in a planetary state known as a snowball Earth. Ediacaran. Ediacaran is a geologic period within the Neoproterozoic era, spanning approximately from 635 million to 541 million years ago. The Ediacaran marks the first widespread appearance of complex multicellular fauna, following the end of the Cryogenian. The relatively sudden evolutionary radiation event, known as the Avalon Explosion, is represented by now-extinct, relatively simple, soft-bodied animal phyla, such as Proarticulata, like Dickinsonia and Sprigina. Cambrian. Cambrian is a geologic period within the Paleozoic era, spanning approximately from 541 to 485 million years ago. It consists of four epochs, Ferongian, Miaolingian, Series II, and Terranuvian. The rapid diversification of life forms in the Cambrian, known as the Cambrian Explosion, produced the first representatives of most modern animal phyla, including arthropoda, mollusks, annelids, echinoderms, hemichordates, and chordates. Ordovician. Ordovician is a geologic period within the Paleozoic era, spanning approximately from 485 to 443 million years ago. It consists of three epochs, late, middle, and early. Life continued to flourish during the Ordovician as it did in the earlier Cambrian period, although the end of the period was marked by the Ordovician-Silurian extinction events. Invertebrates, namely mollusks and arthropods, dominated the oceans, with members of the latter group probably starting their establishment on land. Also, the first land plants are known from this period. The Great Ordovician Biodiversification Event considerably increased the diversity of life. Fish, the world's first true vertebrates, continued to evolve, and those with jaws may have first appeared late in the period, about 100 times as many meteorites struck the Earth per year during the Ordovician compared with today. Silurian. Silurian is a geologic period within the Paleozoic era, spanning approximately from 443 to 419 million years ago. It consists of four epochs, Landovery, Wenlock, Ludlow, and Predoli. One important event in this period was the initial establishment of terrestrial life, in what is known as the Silurian-Devonian Terrestrial Revolution. Vascular plants emerged from more primitive land plants. Dicarian fungi started expanding and diversifying, along with glomeromycotin fungi. And three groups of arthropods, myriapods, arachnids, and hexapods, became fully terrestrialized. Devonian. Devonian is a geologic period within the Paleozoic era, spanning approximately from 419 to 359 million years ago. It consists of three epochs, late, middle, and early. The first significant evolutionary radiation of life on land occurred during the Devonian as free-sporing land plants, pteridophytes. By the middle of the Devonian, several groups of vascular plants had evolved leaves and true roots, and by the end of the period, the first seed-bearing plants, pteridospermatophytes, appeared. Fishes, especially jawed fish, reached substantial diversity during this time, leading the Devonian to often be dubbed the Age of Fishes. The armored placoderms began dominating almost every known aquatic environment. Carboniferous. Carboniferous is a geologic period within the Paleozoic era, spanning approximately from 359 to 299 million years ago. It consists of two epochs, Mississippian and Pennsylvanian. The period is sometimes called the Age of Amphibians due to the diversification of early amphibians such as the Temnospondyls. Some winged insects radiate suddenly, especially Protodonata and Paleotic Diptera, as well as some millipedes and scorpions become very large. First coal forests appeared. The later half of the period experienced glaciations, low sea level, and mountain building, as the continents collided to form Pangaea. The Carboniferous rainforest collapse occurred at the end of the period. Permian. Permian is a geologic period within the Paleozoic era, spanning approximately from 299 to 252 million years ago. It consists of three epochs, Ciceralian, Guadalupian, and Lopingian. The Permian witnessed the diversification of the two groups of amniotes, the synapsids and the sauropsids. The end of the early Permian, Cicerallian saw a major faunal turnover, with most lineages of primitive apelicosaur synapsids becoming extinct, being replaced by more advanced therapsids. The Permian ended with the largest mass extinction in Earth's history, in which nearly 81% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species died out, associated with the eruption of the Siberian traps. Triassic Triassic is a geologic period within the Mesozoic era, spanning approximately from 252 to 201 million years ago. It consists of three epochs, late, middle, and early. A specialized subgroup of archosaurs called dinosaurs 
first appeared in the late Triassic. Jurassic. Jurassic is a geologic period within the Mesozoic era, spanning approximately from 201 to 145 million years ago. It consists of three epochs, late, middle, and early. During this period, dinosaurs dominated alone. The first birds appeared, evolving from a branch of theropod dinosaurs. Other major events include the appearance of the earliest lizards and the evolution of therian mammals. Crocodilomorphs made the transition from a terrestrial to an aquatic life. The oceans were inhabited by marine reptiles such as ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs, while pterosaurs were the dominant flying vertebrates. Cretaceous. Cretaceous is a geologic period within the Mesozoic era, spanning approximately from 145 to 66 million years ago. It consists of two epochs, early and late. The Cretaceous was a period with a relatively warm climate, resulting in high eustatic sea levels that created numerous shallow inland seas. These oceans and seas were populated with now extinct marine reptiles, ammonites, and rudists, while dinosaurs continued to dominate on land. Flowering plants appeared and began to rapidly diversify, becoming the dominant group of plants across the Earth. Paleogene. Paleogene is a geologic period within the Cenozoic era, spanning approximately from 66 to 23 million years ago. It consists of three epochs, the Paleocene, Eocene, and Oligocene. During this period, asteroid killed the dinosaurs and most species on Earth. The continents look roughly the same as today, and mammals take over. Neogene. Neogene is a geologic period within the Cenozoic era, spanning approximately from 23 to 2.6 million years ago. It consists of two epochs, the Miocene and the Pliocene. During this period, mammals and birds continued to evolve into modern forms, while other groups of life remained relatively unchanged. Australopithecus common in East Africa appeared. Quaternary. Quaternary is the most recent geologic period within the Cenozoic era, spanning approximately from 2.6 million years ago to the present day. It consists of two epochs, the Pleistocene and the Holocene. The Quaternary is marked by significant climatic fluctuations, the development of extensive ice ages, and the evolution and dominance of Homo sapiens, modern humans.